Hi guys, my name is Lindsay Dalton and today I'm going to be showing you this magnificent San Lorenzo SL82. This one right behind me measures almost 26 meters in length as it's had fitted an extended platform. The San Lorenzo SL82 is a semi-displacement yacht and it's classified as a category D vessel. It has two very powerful Caterpillar engines that can run up to 2300 rpm each. I mean that is crazy. I'll be telling you exactly how many liters of fuel this boat consumes per engine maybe you can have a guess and leave it in the comments no cheating this model is not only spacious but it's also very powerful reaching speeds up to 30 knots it can fit up to 12 people including the crew perfect for short and long distances a beautiful yacht to have a holiday vacation with the family or bring a bunch of friends on board the yacht is designed for comfort luxury and adventure so let's go So this is a Williams Sport Jet Tender 345 model. It's really safe for the kids when they're swimming around or even when you're doing water sport, you don't get your lines chopped up. And another great thing about this tender, it's super comfortable and it rides through the waves extremely well. This is the access to the engine room that I'm going to be showing you just in a bit. So here on the aft, we can see it's a very spacious area. It's a great place to be on the boat for dinner, lunch, even for breakfast. Here you can see eight chairs, but the table actually opens up in the middle. You can get at least another two to four chairs. This area has custom made sunshades that gives a lot of privacy. We're going to go towards the bow. Up here we have the boat hook that there's one on each side. As we can see, we've got these really nice big windows that gives all the light into the interior. They're tinted. You can see yourself in the window. The people inside can actually see you too. So it's quite funny for the crew. When you're washing down the boat, don't forget that they're looking at you. And here we are at the bow area. It's the perfect area to chill and if you want a bit more privacy. Look at this. You can probably fit here four or five people. You could even squeeze in a few more if you're up for the cuddles. This is just great, absolutely stunning. This yacht has a sleek and sophisticated look and has been maintained, waxed and polished every year. So as you can see, it has a really nice shine to it. It's super important to keep your boat maintained because it saves you a huge amount of money without needing to get a paint job because the sun the salt all corrodes not only the metals but also wears out the shine of the boat so now we're going to access the engine room these doors are really really heavy but i think i'm gonna be all right here we go let's go and see those two powerful engines so here we are in the engine room and these are the two Caterpillar engines that can reach up to 2300 RPM each. Before I asked you a question, if you could guess how many litres of fuel do these engines consume? Well, the answer is 245 litres per engine an hour. And that is running the boat at its full speed, that is 30 knots. But the boat has a sweet spot, and that is cruising between 10 and 12 knots, where you can reduce by more than half the consumption of the boat. So if you're running at 12 knots, each engine will consume about 80-85 litres per hour. 
Yeah. You've got the generators, there's one on each side, and this is what's going to keep your boat running when you're not connected to the shore power. Over there you've got your water pressure pump, we've got the batteries, we've got the heat extraction for the engines, and here are the stabilizer controllers that will give you a smooth and a stable ride during your cruise and even an anchor if you're in a rolly bay. Over there you've got your hydraulic pressure pumps. Look at the size of the these filters, these filters are massive. Here you can see what your engines are doing. You can also see it from the main control panel, so then you don't have to at any time be inside the engine room while the boat is running. It is so hot in here. You can reach temperatures of 80 degrees very easily. Trust me, you don't want to be in here, not even after the boat's engines have stopped. As we enter the saloon, we can see the interior is featured by a classic and timeless design of San Lorenzo. It's cosy and spacious with these massive panoramic windows. This saloon is a perfect place to launch, read the book, relax, watch some TV and even have a snooze. The satellite television on this boat has over 680 channels from all over the world. Also, I want you to come and look how thin this television is. It's paper thin. Here, we also have a small little fridge so you can grab quickly your drinks. And it's just perfect. Here we have the saloon table. Here we have a wine cooler or wine fridge. Here in the galley, it's a perfect size galley for this size yacht. Also has a very nice design. There's quite a lot of space. Great to hang around with your friends and entertain. You can all cook together. It's got a massive fridge here. This is just huge with lots of space. Here you can prepare all the meals. You can set all the plates. You can just put so much stuff around. It's great. The wheelhouse is equipped with Raymarine navigation system and a monitor that displays all the information to control and operate the boat. On the display of the monitor, you can find all the information you need, such as power sources and electronics, steering pump, fuel tanks and bilge levels, including any boat alarm alerts, generator status or even the controls for the wipers of the windows. Also, you can synchronize the driving to the flybridge, offering an alternative experience. It's really spacious, this flybridge. So there's basically two driving stations on the boat and it's a great place to get the feel for the sea breeze and enjoy the spectacular views while on the waves. It's the perfect area for socializing, sunbathing. I don't know if you already spotted it, but this flybridge has something that's absolutely amazing and that is beer dispenser. So from this one we got water, fresh water, cold fresh water and from here you get beer coming out. Here you go. If you don't believe me, here it is. It's also got a rowing machine as it's a perfect place to be doing some exercise and all the seating outside has a really nice fabric and it's special exterior material. And now we're gonna go and check the cabins. Right, so let's go, follow me. The San Lorenzo SL82 has four luxurious cabins, master cabin, twin cabin, a VIP cabin and a double cabin. So as we enter the master cabin, as you can see, it's very spacious. Like the rest of the boat, it maintains the original design of San Lorenzo. Like I said before, it's, it's timeless. It never can go out of date because this brings the sensation of luxury. So it's very cozy and it's absolutely perfect. So this headboard here, that's the first thing you see when you enter to the master cabin. It's in this beautiful cream color, it gives a touch of elegance and sophistication and has a really nice texture to it that makes it a perfect headboard and over here we have a walk-in wardrobe so we're going to have a quick look so yeah so much storage space on this boat it's unbelievable you've got drawers all over here so all this is space and here we've got a fitter tv into the panel that's a really good smart tv to have and a very smart idea and then here we've got a nice long mirror so you can check out your best outfit. Like once again, we've got more storage, more drawers, a stunning, beautiful, big, king-size bed. And here we can also find a mirror. You can sit down, put your makeup on, you can put 
put all your little bits in here. And over here, we have an ensuite bathroom. So here we have the ensuite of the master cabin. This is a really nice marble. It takes a lot to look after really good marble. All the fittings and taps on this boat are stainless steel. Perfect for two people. We've got the shower here. And here you got one of these mirrors. It's like a magnifying mirror, isn't it? Oh my God, don't look at yourself. You just can see everything. Hate these mirrors. And I love the carpet, I must say. The carpet is just amazing. So soft, fluffy, so nice. Here we are in the VIP cabin that is full of space so you can walk around. Back of the bed has a very large tinted mirror. It actually makes the room look bigger. You've got a nice mirror here that reflects more light into the room with some really nice decoration. You have your wardrobe here. You've got your own radio. We also got another cupboard here behind the door. So all the doors on the boat are like really heavy. They have to be safe on the sea and they lock themselves. It's got its own small TV fitted into the panel. And here we have another ensuite bathroom. Okay, so here we have a twin cabin. There are two individual beds, really good size. Also has cupboards, it has its own stereo with your two bedside lights. And once again, it's very cozy. Going to the double bedroom. We have a, another mirror that also gives that illusion of more space and more light. Best thing is that each cabin has its own bathroom. So we've got one more bathroom. I forgot to show you that in the hallway, we also have another wardrobe. Here the crew keeps all of the towels, easy to just grab once they've been uh, washed and cleaned. They're stored in here and the crew goes and they place them around the boats. It's a really good, easy access here to grab them. And that's been our yacht tour of the San Lorenzo SL82. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of our yacht content.